Hello, I'm Jerry Ford. Going to review a Underwood product. This is the white meat chicken spread, or chicken spread made with white meat. Um, let's see. B and G Foods Incorporated out of Parsippany, New Jersey. I don't have all this stuff right here, the lettuce, the tomato to put on it. I'm just gonna eat it, just just plain. Um, on a piece, on some toast and a sandwich. So, <clears throat> this, uh, these little cans, for me, personally, they provide you with enough, with enough in there to make two sandwiches out of it. So I got me a little, a little container to put the other half in. Eat it tomorrow. doesn't look very, um, <clears throat> what's that word, palatable, in other words it looks kind of gross like that, has it like a yellow oil, oils there that have kind of risen to the top, you know, so we are going to stir it. <clears throat> that looks better. Okay. Has a nice chicken aroma. Put some, I'll put that in this bowl later. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. Let's put this on here. Taste it just like this first. I forget to do that sometimes. Um, chicken, salt. <clears throat> Kind of tastes like, like celery juice or something. Is it's what it tastes like. Look, it's like celery juice is in there. Um, there's a light sweetness to it. I'm thinking maybe it tastes like uh, like it already has some. Miracle Whip or something in there. The sodium's pretty high in there. 
pretty salty. Four hundred and forty milligrams of sodium, eighteen percent, or the DV. I don't know what that means. The DV column. Yeah, that sounds pretty high. I don't know <clears throat> the dietary scale and all that stuff, but sounds high. Okay, tastes good by itself. use this for a napkin. It tastes good as a, as a sandwich, just like that. Very good. A lot of times on these types of sandwiches, I will put usually mustard, I think. Right, that's what I use is mustard. I know, how do you not remember that? <laughs> um, can't say. <clears throat> I, mean, I don't eat I don't eat these type of spreads, these these meat spread types things, like every day. It's been a while since I I don't remember what I used the last time. So there's some mustard on there. Let's see. Mm -hmm. That goes pretty good on there. What else? Tapatio. When I first discovered this, um, it's probably close to the time that I started reviewing in 2016. I didn't know anything about this sauce. I didn't know how to pronounce the, the name of it either. I was calling it Tapatio. People started making fun of me and laughing at me. It reminded me of when I was in school, making fun of me, my name, because so many things rhyme with Jerry. So, um, it was uh, interesting getting to experience this hot sauce. I never really was a real big hot sauce user mostly just paste, you know, paste picante, um, mild, medium, mostly, so, <clears throat> um, actually, no, I take that back, I, uh, I did know about Valentina, because, like I, like I had said in that other video, the popcorn pairing, um, guy I worked with, uh, a Mexican guy, he told he showed me how, how he used Valentina in chips with Doritos, so that's when I learned about that. It's 
starting to burn. That ain't too bad. That's not too bad on there. <clears throat> I like doing this sometimes with, with foods. I'm trying different things in front of you guys because who knows? Maybe it's something that you didn't think would taste good together. When I'm saying, whoa, man, that is really good. Maybe you'd want to try it and see what you think. Maybe we will both discover something that goes good together. <clears throat> okay. Valentina. This is a chicken spread for those of you just came in like I'm doing this live or something <laughs> okay Valentina, for me, doesn't go good with that. The Tapatio does better. All right, so let's try a little bit of tahini on there. Tahini hot sauce. Watch this spout because it's huge. It comes out pretty fast. Okay, a little bit of that corner. You know, mostly when you when y'all are um, asking me to try something with the tahini, it's usually stuff like fruits. I don't know if this is really meant to be used so much for like this kind of meat. Maybe, maybe Mexican type foods would be better. But I don't know. This just doesn't. Just doesn't go together very well. Okay. I'm gonna end it there. I thank you all for watching. I appreciate it. <clears throat> See you on the next one.